Welcome to or welcome back to Restoring Roots Farm. My name is Madison and today you're coming along with me in the garden. So here's a little glimpse into my front yard garden. It's definitely not the most aesthetic, but it'll grow food. So I'm gonna give you an idea of what I've got planted so far and what we're gonna be planting today. So this little box is my herb garden and the reason I have netting around it is because of this sweet baby right here. The German Shepherd puppy is Willow. She is a little over a year old. She is very energetic and she likes to take off jumping and running through my garden. And this is her partner in crime, Miss Delilah. So the first thing you see here, this is definitely looking the best out of everything in this bed is cilantro. Next we have chives. Dill looks fabulous. We plan on making my own pickles this year. Then we have basil, sage, calendula, oregano, thyme. This is parsley. In this corner, I have echinacea, dandelion, and lastly is chamomile. This is my first year growing herbs. Last year, I just focused on vegetables, so we're going to see how this goes. I designated a whole box to it, so you'll just have to wait and see. So I ran out of room, so that's why these are in pots, but all you see here in the pots and in this mound of dirt here are all tomatoes. So this is my main focus this year. I have a ton of tomato plants because I want to try and can a lot of different tomato products, you know, ketchup and tomato sauce and pizza sauce and things like that. So I may be a little bit in over my head, but we've got somewhere around 40 tomato plants out here. <laughs> this hot wire around it is also to keep Willow out of it. So <laughs> here is mainly Roma tomatoes. So I pretty much planted two varieties of tomatoes. I planted Roma and beef steak. So the beef steak is more of a fresh slicing tomato and then the Roma tomato is more of what you would use for all of your canning products. All right, I've got a lot on the agenda today, so I'm gonna bring you along as we go. All right, so first thing on the agenda today is preparing this bed to transplant some peppers. So I'm gonna be transplanting some jalapeno peppers and also planting some bell peppers. So I have started prepping this and David is going to get some hay to use as mulch. So these are jalapeno peppers that I started indoors along with my tomato plants and they're looking pretty good. I've got six of them because I'm not much of a hot food person, but I do want to try and make my own salsa this year. So this is a raised bed that David built for me out of pallets that he deconstructed. And there's some controversy about using them in chemical treated, but they were free, so we decided to go ahead and use them. So here we are just getting this bed ready, and later we are going to be planting four different vegetables in this bed. So the camera didn't focus very well here, but we are planting pickling cucumbers. And depending on how tall they get, we may go back and add some trellises later to support them. And here, Miss Willow decided she wanted to be super involved, so I had to call in David for some help. Next in this bed, we planted some summer squash and we used the seed packets to not forget where we planted them. Next in this bed, we planted green beans and these are a bush variety, so they shouldn't get too tall and block the sun from the other vegetables. Lastly in this bed, we planted okra, and it's on the far side of the bed away from where the sun rises and sets, so it shouldn't block any sun from other vegetables either. Lastly, we put in markers so that I don't forget what I planted here. 
And then we moved on to putting a light layer of hay over the top so that way the seeds would be protected hopefully from any birds or anything like that and also so the top of the soil wouldn't dry out. And a brief intermission for Delilah looking so cute. So this ended up going into the next day, but here we are. David is installing a drip system. Here we are with another farm mascot intermission. So while David was installing the drip system, I decided to lay out some tarp and try and figure out where I was going to plant the watermelon and corn. And the wind was seriously beating me up this day, so I had to call for David's assistance. And yes, those are fence posts, but we've got to go get some landscaping staples. And lastly, I had to document my drip system because I felt so fancy, even though it wasn't too expensive. All right, if there is one thing you should know about me, it is that I am a chronic overachiever. I put way too much on my to-do list that more than I can do in a weekend, so. I split up this work into two days and I still didn't get it all done, but I'm about five months pregnant and I get tired really fast. So this weekend I transplanted my jalapeno peppers. I planted a few bell pepper seeds and then in our raised bed we planted cucumber, okra, squash, and green beans. And David installed our temporary drip system. So editing Madison here, I wanted to clarify real quick that this is our temporary drip system because with us planning to put in all of those raised beds, hopefully next year, we didn't want to install anything underground. So all of this, the hose and all of that stuff will stay above ground. But next year, after we get all of our raised beds in, we plan on installing a more permanent solution, maybe with some pipes underground and things like that. David said it should be pretty easy to unhook them, rearrange them, and then put them back in a more permanent solution next year when we get ready. So, there's that. Back to the video. We have a bit of a mess to clean up, but we have the herb box, tomatoes, and then we have the garden situation over here. Our long-term goal is to have that entire area full of raised beds with really high quality soil and eventually fence in the entire area so that we can keep critters out, mainly my dogs. I'm about tapped out for this weekend, but next weekend we are going to be planting a peach tree, watermelon, and corn. And we may even be transplanting some strawberries. So thanks for hanging out in the garden with me this weekend and I'll see you next time.